Good morning, Sunrisers. My name is Dr. Trey Stevenson, and I'm here today with our kennel manager, David, and also Rudolph. Uh, Rudolph is an 18-year-old neutered male domestic short hair cat. He presented to us uh, for a history of hearing loss, and he also just wasn't acting like himself at home. Um, on our physical exam, we did notice that Rudolph was thin, he was dehydrated, and also that he was blind, or almost completely blind, in addition to being deaf. Uh, further testing included x-rays, blood work, and urine testing, which revealed elevated kidney enzymes, leading us to a diagnosis of chronic kidney disease. We also noted that his blood pressure was very high, um, which led to a secondary diagnosis of hypertension. So for treatment, Rudolph has been taking daily blood pressure medication. He's also taking a kidney supplement that's designed to uh, reduce the phosphorus levels in his blood, which is a common complication of chronic kidney disease. He's also been transitioned from his normal diet to a special diet uh, formulated for cats with chronic kidney disease. And I'm told that he's not enjoying the new diet change that well, but he is eating it. Um, so he also comes in once a week for fluid therapy. And what we do is put some fluid under his skin uh, to help with dehydration. And he's been very polite about that. So chronic kidney disease is a condition that is very common in middle-aged to older cats. Uh, my own cat actually was diagnosed with this several years ago, so it's something I'm familiar with. Um, it is something that can be slowed down, uh, not completely reversed, but we can uh, improve quality of life and catch it early. So if your cat is showing signs similar to Rudolph or if he's acting completely normal and is starting to have some age, get them in for routine blood testing so that we can uh, catch chronic kidney disease early. And I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.